Okay, we only have two things more to go, and that is to hook in these two power connectors. Don't forget that there's going to be at least two on most motherboards these days. The big one, as we saw before, goes up here and snaps in. You want to be careful not to knock out any of those other cables. That's one of the hazards when you get all these wires uh, around everywhere. We're going to clean these up a little later after we see if everything's working. Then this other power connector that has eight pins always plugs into the motherboard somewhere near the processor. And so this, this is this blue connector right up here beside the processor. So let's plug that in. And again, these kind of clip on with a little snap. Okay, so that's on there. Good. Now again, this is a really ugly, messy case. I'm going to clean these up and use some cable ties later. But now we've got everything hooked in, so let's just run through our checklist real quickly. We uh, put our processor and our cooling fan on the motherboard. We installed the memory on the motherboard. We put the motherboard into the case and screwed it on after we put those um, uh, mounting posts um, on there. And we screwed it in. We mounted our DVD drive, we plugged power, and we plugged it into the motherboard. Two hard drives, we only plugged, we plugged power to both of those, but only plugged one of those into the motherboard. And we plugged in these front panel headers for the power switch. We plugged in our USB headers, our 2.0 and 3.0, onto the board. And we connected the power to all of our fans, so that everything will be nice and cool. And... Oh, I forgot. We installed the power supply. That was the very first thing we did. Um, I think we're ready to go. Now, uh, here is the the pièce de résistance or whatever. Um, I plugged in a USB keyboard and mouse into two USB slots on the back, and I hooked up a monitor. What we're going to do right now is we are going to turn on the power as soon as I plug it in. We're going to turn on the power and we're going to see if the computer posts. P-O-S-T, posts. And posting is just to see if everything is, seems like it's kind of hooked up right. So this computer does not have windows on it yet. It's just a blank slate. And what we're doing now is we're going to turn the power on just to see what happens. And I need to see which of these buttons is the power button. Um, we're going to see if the computer posts or if it beeps at us and gives us some errors. If it starts beeping and nothing comes on this screen, um, that means we have some kind of problem. Or if the screen comes on, it might tell us about some problems. So we'll see what happens here. Let's, let me see if this is the power switch. Maybe that's the reset switch. There's a switch on the power supply that was turned off, I think. So let's try this again. Alright, so we have fan on, blue light for power. Let's look at the motherboard. There's a green light down here telling us that there's power. And a red light up here. Let's look at the screen and let's see what happens. So uh, film the screen and see. So we're, this is the computer posting. You see this every time you turn your computer on. You see something about BIOS, blah, blah, blah. Here it's telling us that it found our hard drive and our DVD drive. New CPU installed. Please enter setup to configure your system. So this is telling us that so far everything looks okay. Additionally, it tells us that it found our 8,000 megabytes or 8 gigabytes of memory and that that's fine. It's telling us that the speed of the processor is what it should be when it first gets set up. Now, um, it's going to ask us to go into the BIOS this is the BIOS stands for basic input output system you want to look at your motherboard manual if you need any help uh, setting up the BIOS let's go through and just see if we can do this real quickly uh, so hit enter to set up your system let me see if it finds my keyboard here okay so I hit it had to hit F1 it's recognized the keyboard so here's a nice fancy BIOS screen. It's telling me about the fans that have been hooked up. 
It's telling me that one of the fans is going slow because I turned it down on low power. That's fine, but that means it's working. It's telling me the voltages of the CPU and the temperature of the CPU and of the motherboard. Um, and it's given me about 55 options. It's asking me what I want to boot the computer from. This is set to DVD first and then hard drive. That's what I want because we're going to set up Windows 7 on this from the DVD player later on. And so um, it looks like everything is working fine so far. And so this has been a pretty successful basic build of a computer. Not a whole lot fancy going on. So what I'm going to do now is just use some cable ties to uh, organize these cables a little bit and make sure that these cables don't hit the fans and make noise and, and slow everything down. But otherwise, I think we're done. It's a pretty pretty successful build. Uh, Austin, any, th any other things you can think of that we need to do? Okay, well I'm pretty pleased. This went pretty smoothly and um, all the fans seem to be working and the, the computer posted that just means that this came up successfully and we didn't get any error beeps so everything's fine. So this is Berkey Academy signing off with a basic computer build. If you have any questions I don't know how much help I can be but uh, hopefully you've gotten the basic idea of, of how everything will go.